Walking the Twilight Path by Michelle Bellinger. So, a uh, gothic book of the dead is the, is the subtitle for this. So, this is like a great book for those who do um, work with like say death deities or um, who work with like the dead or death in some way or for those who want to um, like have that in their practice in some way or bring it in or like in a way to make it more comfortable for you um so like like getting you comfortable like with the idea of death what you want like how you want your like um say how your death is treated or whatever, like how like your service or whatever is um, done, um, connection and everything. So, and like her connection with it, with death, death, death and everything. Um, and like she gives like a list of like, um, if any of these statements are true for you now, now is not the right time to pursue this path. And gives a list of things. Um, final notes on the text. This is a book, is, this book is, is essentially a workbook for those who wish to follow the twilight path. It contains lessons, exercises, and rituals that will help the diligent student to embrace change by exploring the mysteries of both life and death. And she continu continues on. Um, so you'll get um, journal exercise, um, the name of it, and like an explanation and like um, prompt, like numbered um, questions. So. And like it happens like throughout the entire book and you'll get the exercises too. Oh, you'll get different things like elements of the altar, um, like dedicate like dedicating yourself to like to a like not dedicating but like going to a cemetery and like having a connection and um being in like a almost like a companion to that a cemetery. Um, you got like you got stuff like this like this, for this one symbol uh, it's symbols of death and then you got another one like um, goddesses and gods of death. Um, but sometimes you'll ha like have a ritual or exercise that um, in the journal exercise will. Um, kind of like bleed into there so like after you've done this ritual how are you feeling or whatever or once you've done something she just suggests previously oh um take your take five ten minutes to do like your eulogy or whatever um daily meditation um build a spirit so building a spirit temple, this is um, kind of an exercise um, ritual and she walks you like through it. Um, so like what you say, um, signs of a, a psychic attack, bells, drums, dream catchers. Um, so like, um, journal exercise, and you get like certain pictures as well, um, journal exercise, this life now, um, if you knew that your death was great, 
um, guaranteed within the week. How would you live your life? What would you do differently? What um, remain the same? What would your, uh, towards your attitudes towards your family and friends change? Um, and so on. Um, and like she goes through how like different cultures and societies throughout time have dealt with death and like their symbols um so like meditation tomb of the pharaoh um the art of uh epitaph so and like that's kind of like that i think that's one of the um, journal exercises too is to create your own um or like different types of burial so earth um water so going through the elements um So, um, like, it's like working with death, preparing, um, well not, like kind of somewhat preparing, but, um, giving you, like, a sense of a connection, um, to this area that people don't really want to talk about, but... To me, it, like it can, make, it could make some people more comfortable with the idea. Or if you do find yourself a person who is comfortable, kind of like talking or embracing that kind of atmosphere, kind of like feeling or whatever, um, or like that type of thing, like the about like death and the other side or whatever. <laughs> um, so, um, this can be a really interesting book for people, and if not, if nothing else, some in interesting pro journal exercises that you could do. I'll likely, um, go back, write a few out for me to keep, because, um, I'm still on the fence of keeping this one, but, yeah, for some people, if you haven't already picked this up and read it, it can be a really interesting resource for you to have or at least to look at. So, Walking the Twilight Path by Michelle Belanger. Happy readings.